On the 4th of July, Sean Hannity of Fox News held a one-hour special called The Cost of Amnesty. The entire special was dedicated to an amazing new film called They Come to America 2. I would like to welcome the producer of that film, a man who has driven across the country by himself four times so he can show you the truth about what's taking place along our open borders and what's causing tens of millions of Americans to stand on unemployment lines. Ladies and gentlemen, filmmaker Dennis Michael Lynch. <laughs> I thought Arizona was hot. Woo! Well, hello, and thank you for coming out here. This is what Congress needs to see. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor, if we can. I'm going to count to three, and then I want you to give me what your first and last name is. One, two, three. Love it. We'll get back to that in a second. You know, um, fortunately, I get a lot of coverage on Fox, um, but that's because I have a movie. I mean, there are so many people here today who don't get the same coverage, but I can tell you that work uh, just as hard, if not harder and longer, than I do and I have. Uh, so please make sure you say thank you when you see people like Roy Beck and Michael Cutler. I have one problem. It's a pretty big problem, to be honest. Every time that I turn on the television and I see either a congressman or a pundit, they always ask this question. What are we going to do with the 11 million people that are here? No, see, that's the wrong question. The wrong question is, how do we protect the 350 million Americans? And how do we get back to work 30 million Americans? And when you answer those two questions, you answer the first one. And that's the, that's the spot we're in right now as a country, where our elected officials are more concerned about the welfare of illegal immigrants than they are the American citizens. That has to stop. That has to stop. And so I want to tell you a little story, which I hope will motivate you to keep on keeping on. Two years ago, none of you knew who I was because I couldn't get a film festival to accept any of my films because I put an American face on illegal immigration. Well, will and determination have landed me at the capital of our nation. But it's not just my will and determination. It's yours. I know there are plenty of people here today who have not only helped me distribute five or ten films, but you've come back and you've gotten more. And I can't tell you the amount of people that say, you know, maybe, just maybe, your film and the American people who've been distributing it had something to do with running Jan Janet Napolitano out of town. <laughs> just maybe, maybe. But I'll tell you what, and she deserves to, because to say that the borders are secure, is more, almost as ridiculous as saying that Americans won't do the hard work. I've traveled this country, like this man said, four times. I have gone to unemployment lines, and I've met, I feel like, with every American who is having a hard time. These people don't want to collect welfare. They want to work. And I can tell you that I have seen Hispanics and Asians and blacks and whites I don't speak that way. I don't like hearing things like the Hispanic vote or the black community. I don't care where you rest your head. You live in America, and we are all Americans. So I want to talk a little bit about that will and determination before they tell me my five minutes are up. Because if you know anything about me, I don't follow the rules. So if I give him five minutes, it's like giving me ten. Absolutely. When you... <laughs> you guys are throwing me off. 
You know, uh, when I go back to those film festivals, when I was turned down time and time again, I didn't hope for change. People who just talk hope for change. You folks are doers. I'm a doer. We make it happen. And that being said, let me tell you something. I'm not going to BS you. This country right now, one minute? All right, means four. This country right now is at rock bottom. And it's going to be like that for a while. But I promise you, I promise you, I may not be the smartest. I may not be wealthy. But I am the most determined son of a bitch in this country. We are going to make it happen. And within a couple of years from now, I promise you, I promise you, because we're not going to step off the pedal. This problem will be solved. We'll protect our borders and protect the American citizens in doing so. We'll put Americans back to work. We'll get this country back to where it needs and should be. And we can do it without losing our compassion and our open arms for those around the world who need our help. But it happens after we get this country back on track. I started this off with asking you what your name was. My name is Dennis Michael Lynch. My friends call me DML. I will never forget your name if you promise never to forget mine. Let's get it done. Thank you.